<laughs> Hi guys, so this is what it is to drive with a Lambo. Eh? You see all these lights that go up, and so the E gear, like the E gear is, uh, there seems to be a problem with the E gear. Eh? That's the uh, to change gear. Uh, it's with with, with these, uh, these these flippers here. Uh, you have them on two sides, and um, and uh, but you know uh, when I drive with it. It, I, right now it only goes to second gear and not higher eh? so you can't really uh, you can get home but uh, on the driving on the highway is not possible then it says here uh, an error with uh, the engine b bunk one five and bunk six ten uh, 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 that's some kind of sensor that's uh, 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 I got that fixed half a year ago so it's, it's broken again this means that the ABS is not working right now uh, so so if you um, start slipping, he won't uh, save you. Um, and this is just a, a general, and uh, that's the same as this. Um, so yeah, this, so you have to know that uh, I brought this car in for a big maintenance. That's the last thing I did. And uh, since then I drive two time, uh, only one time with it. Uh, but I got this immediately, like after the big maintenance and then some other uh, costs like 7,000 euro. I drive it home, the next time I drive with it, I have all these errors. Can you believe that? <laughs> and and, 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 uh, and that's amazing, isn't it? Um, that really sucks. Uh, I, I really think that's really a, a problem with this car. Uh, you have all kind of things, uh, you know, just too many errors, it's a real problem. But. Um, very likely now I'm gonna put off the engine he has these quirks because um, when I push when I put the engine back on a little bit later you will see that um, that uh, that probably the e-gear error is gone and I can drive again uh, with all gears and uh, the, the, the the bank error one five six ten you know uh, I, I don't care <laughs> anymore before I would ask to fix that but I know that worst case the engine stops working and you really have to uh, fix it but these small things I'm just gonna let it be there it happens with these cars a lot these errors and it's just a sensor problem so yeah it's not that important um, so so in my last video about uh, the expenses of the car I did forget to say one very important part of expenses that I will try to avoid in the future which is of course um, uh, crashes eh? I, I I had a lot of costs by um, doing stupid stuff uh, like hitting uh, the, the, the garage um, like it's a wider car and I hit one side of the garage when I exited but uh, there I had like 3,000 costs uh, 3,000 euro costs um, just to the garage not to the car the car has paint damage only luckily but yeah that's something I didn't uh, pay and I still have to pay uh, which would be around 2,000 euro to have the paint uh, fixed um, but um, but there it was 3,000 euro but then the biggest expense there with when it comes to uh, crashes is, is um, I lost control of the car in uh, when I took a corner I, I disabled the ABS and I tried to slip through a corner being such a cool guy and uh, and um, yeah uh, <laughs> I just slipped out of the corner luckily it was uh, in the woods in the woods and so I only hit like a soft um, uh, side with uh, just leaves eh? uh, but still the 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 right back uh, uh, um, wheel was uh, bent and so I had to be replaced and uh, and um, and that cost me 7,000 euro oh no 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 uh, 5,000 or 6,000 something like that so so of course that and then other expenses of course um, tickets you know and police um, this is a real problem with this car you attract the loss of attention and it will absolutely I got all kind of tickets but um, yeah, so I'm really not gonna be driving too fast anymore um, uh, because that also cost me around, I think, 2,000 euros. Um, 
So, so that's another uh, yeah, ten thousand, thirteen thousand euro mm -hmm. eh, that I I can avoid in expenses, but still uh, at and so 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 driving a lot less, eh, driving a lot less stupid um, uh, will bring this bill of fifty-seven thousand euro down that I paid for twenty-five thousand kilometers. Um, eh, so the next twenty-five thousand kilometers, uh, hopefully, I will pay a lot less due to not do that uh, stuff. Um, um, but still, uh, I did pay. If you like, uh, don't count that. Um, I paid in just like um, basic stuff. Uh, so, so just, just breakdowns like these stupid things that just break down without you doing anything wrong. Uh, I, I ended up paying, and also maintenance uh, to Lamborghini. I ended up paying twenty thousand euro in 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 one year. Uh, okay, it's a lot of kilometers I drove at twenty. Uh, thousand twenty two thousand but uh, still that's a lot of money I think um, and and that's a big problem that I will still have uh, the next uh, 20 uh, 20,000 kilometers I drive that's that, that I have to count on um, and it can be worse too it can be less worse too but yeah, but if big things break down like the engine or the e-gear seriously break down they have certain parts that are very expensive um, uh, then then the cost will be a lot higher but if these uh, but I had some really bad luck oh, oh, in this 20,000 euro. There was some bad luck that normally doesn't happen, like the airco uh, breaking down and um, what other stuff. Um, I forgot. I mentioned in the other videos. But um, yeah. Uh, so, 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 and of course, I also paid 10,000 euro in fuel, eh, 6,000 euro. And then some other like oil, or it needs a lot of oil every thousand kilometer, one liter, uh, one liter. So 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 you do end up paying about thirty thousand kilometer, uh, thirty thousand euro minimum minimum. Well, yeah, that's what I really have to count on for tw to drive twenty thousand kilometers. So that's about one point um, five euro uh, per kilometer that it costs, and I think that's a lot of money, but it's still a lot cheaper than a lot of other supercars uh, that you buy new. Um, so yeah, but currently I cannot enjoy the car very much because I can't really drive it because it's costing me too much. So uh, I hope that that changes and my investments do better so that I can start driving it again more because otherwise I probably will be selling it in one year if I can not really drive it. Um, I'm, I'm not really like, yeah. And, and then uh, something more about the price, it's very interesting the price went up. Um, we will have to see if that continues, uh, but um, um, that's something I, I learned looking into the supercars. It does happen that some of these cars are actually a good investment, uh, that they go up in value more than 5% per year, so you make a profit on them. Um, but I didn't expect this for the Gallardo here because it's only 10 years old. That use usually only happens after 20, 30 years when, when the car has continued, continuously gone down. Uh, and then it starts to go up again um, because collectors start to buy it. Usually what happens is when people are young they have all these posters of these supercars uh, but they can't afford them and only when they uh, become 40, 50 years old they start being able to, to be able to afford these supercars. But now these are old cars, eh? like for example the Lamborghini um, Diablo. Eh? When I was a kid uh, in the 80s that was on my wall and um, and 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 uh, that was the the, the 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 or beginning of the 90s uh, that was the 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 supercar of Lamborghini and um and then it went down 20 years in a row in price till 2010 and then it started going up and a lot eh? so now it costs double triple than what it costs at the bottom um and so I thought for these Gallardos it would only happen um, not after 10 years but after 20 years also. But it seems to be happening already because it's uh, it's now 2-3 years ago that the bottom was was there for these Gallardos and since then it has gone up. So uh, maybe another dynamic is happening here. Um, I, I think what might be happening is that a lot of people start to become interested in these cars at these prices because it is a Lamborghini and you can buy it basically for the price of uh, a new Mercedes or new BMW or 
uh, it costs the same but you get a, a Lamborghini that still looks quite modern and I think with these YouTube channels uh, people are like um, um, showing off these cars and, and, and I think the interest is going up but the supply is limited eh? uh, uh, you only have so many Gallardos they don't make them anymore and um, and um, and of course you have a, a big wide range you have the newest Gallardos the latest made were 2013-2012 these still cost a lot and have only gone down I'm talking about the cheapest Gallardos that have uh, are 10 years old like this one 2006 since 2004 they started producing them they hit bottom prices um, around um, in, in in Europe around 70,000 euro uh, but uh, and I'm talking about the Spider but the, 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 the Coupé is a little bit cheaper probably 60,000 euro and have gone up the past year maybe it's the first year maybe it's only one year and then it continues to go down for another five to ten years that's possible because I've noticed that in in America for example when I was shopping I was looking in Euro and in America in America in Europe I could buy this car for 70,000 euro but in America I the same car would cost me hundred and ten thousand dollars so there was a big price gap I didn't get that why was that um, and I thought uh, 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 and and I thought maybe it's because the second-hand cars are in America a lot better quality have a lot less miles people on average take better care of them and so you do get more value for your money there but it does cost no and not more value you do get more but it does cost a lot more too so it seemed that uh, there was a it was not in balance in Europe the, they were a lot cheaper and I think that's maybe why the past year the price in Europe have gone up and maybe in America they didn't go up because at the time it was actually yeah, the euro was worth more versus the US dollar so 80,000 euro was 100,000 dollars but this car cost 70,000 uh, euro which was about 90,000 dollars but in America it costed 110,000 dollars so it was 20% more more there in the second-hand market for these cars and so what happened since then is that the euro dropped in value the US dollar went up in value versus the euro and now it's not uh, 80,000 euro for 100,000 dollars but it's 90,000 euro uh, for 100,000 dollars and so these these cars the euro dropped in value so these cars became even cheaper for the US market so maybe um, some of these cars have been like bought up by uh, dealers that uh, export them to the US uh, that's possible and so the supply and demand balance gets more uh, in line again um, so so it's possible that it's just a phenomenon in Europe because they were quite cheap and because the euro dropped more in value that only in Europe they went up in value uh, and, and not in the US I can't tell that um, but anyway uh, I think these cars are, 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 are really great but um, super cool but um, yeah they are not the future eh? um, you know they consume a lot of uh, fuel uh, they are just g gasoline engines the future is of course hybrid cars um, and, and turbo engines and this is naturally aspirated and then so it's a classic but um, yeah um, yeah that means it's also expensive eh? it's cool but uh, uh, you pay a lot of money because you don't use turbo is actually I think eh? uh, an efficient way to uh, to have more speed and so for the speed that you get here you pay uh, big bucks you consume a lot of uh, gasoline um, and uh, and hybrid of course uh, makes that when you brake you 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 you, cre you 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 catch up the energy you don't lose the energy that you can then use again so you will use less fuel but also you have much more power because an electrical engine is much more uh, powerful than a gasoline engine and so um yeah mm, that's that's the com that's probably the future yeah so uh, what else can i say about this car um not much more should show it eh? oh yeah we're gonna start the engine eh, and see what uh, what it what it does eh? okay so 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 we still have errors here and eh? uh, bank one five let's hope that uh, 
that the e-gear doesn't freak out eh? and then I will also do a little tour around the car but look this is still on that's a pity I want that off and usually that goes off too it is a gorgeous car eh? See, this is uh, the paint damage I have from, from hitting uh, the garage. Eh? I still have to fix that. Bye guys.